Welcome to the State Department Daily Briefing. The Secretary and Deputy Secretary were clear uh, on our view, as I stated it, that it does represent a diminution uh, in the representation, or at least a significant number of seats. Uh, they urged Mr. Tung to take uh, uh, another look at his proposal, and uh, we're going to be watching uh, uh, his efforts uh, in, in the time to come. Two months have gone since gone by since July 1st. The three branches of our political structure, the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary, have all been functioning normally. There has been no change in the lifestyle to which we are accustomed to, and our economy continues to expand. We want to make sure one country's two systems succeed. And I know the central government very much want to make sure one country to succeed. Uh, it will have a tremendous bearing, in my view, on whatever uh, may come by, how it may come by, insofar as Taiwan is concerned. Because the unification of the country is really the ultimate aim of Chinese people. Every member of the committee expressed uh, considerable respect uh, and admiration even for the way in which uh, Chief Executive C.H. Uh, Tung has managed the transition. Uh, and I think that uh, each of us also expressed some concerns, which he is well aware of, uh, with respect to the election process, and we had a very good discussion about that. Obviously, we also discuss about the uh, the uh, election next year and the concern that uh, the senators have about these elections. Uh, I have explained to them that uh, uh, we are moving forward in accordance to the basic law and we are moving forward in what we think is very important to Hong Kong and is in the long-term interest of Hong Kong. Tomorrow, I will meet with the 